What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. And in today's video, guys, I am going to be showcasing you a offensive series in game. But first, I want to give a shout out to our video sponsor, AEOAH.com. Guys, if you're looking for College Ultimate Team coins, use the promo code DM Gaming5 to get 3% off. Now, let's go into practice mode, guys, because we want to, I want to showcase. Um, I want to showcase Texas's offense as a playbook. One of my favorite playbooks in the game uh, because it's simple to use. And for this, we are going to use the defense. Um, we'll go Texas. We'll go against a and It's fine. So I want to make sure that I am on uh, team settings and Texas offense. Okay, so that's good right there. <clears throat> Show you this offense. I really like it. I'm going to show you the ins and the outs of it. Texas, excuse me, is a heavy RPO team. Um, we'll start with the formations. So they have generally really two formations, really one. The bulk of what they run is out of the shotgun, but they do have two different sets in uh, the pistol. You have wing close, wing flex close. They have 12 plays in that and then Y off trips. 18 plays in that the pistol formation is good for your um it's good for your a lot of play actions a lot of rpos you got your your zones and stuff like that um <clears throat> very self-explanatory playbook right there it's not much to it as far as depth of what's what we got going on now as far as the y flex close portion of it okay two very similar um similar ordeals you got more play action you have more rpos now this is where it gets really good because the jet pass fake zone is a good play and then off of this you have three different plays you can run off of this you can run the jet pass fake zone with square x you can run the rpo portion of that where that receiver still goes in motion or you can run zone fake jet where you fake the jet and you give it to the running back okay and then you also have your zone alert wide receiver screen in the middle there play action flood stick very you know mix it up here i like to mix it up i use this formation really to mix it up okay now out of the shotgun you have several different formations i'm gonna go over my favorite ones that are very useful that you could use both with texas or with a, another team now personnel wise because this is a heavy RPO, these RPOs aren't the type of RPOs that hit down the field for long distances. Um, these RPOs are a little bit more short range. So you want uh, you want to have a, some receivers that can block, but the receivers that you're wanting to throw these RPOs to, you want them to be some go daddies. You want them to be quick, fast, good acceleration, and things like that. So you have split uh, split twins offset. Two backs in the backfield. It's going to be your starter and your backup running back. Spit, split Z plus is an interesting uh, formation that I use. What they do, they take number 11. You can see him. They put, they take the slot receiver and they move him behind the quarterback. Now, you're looking at this visualization here. As a matter of fact, let's just go um, looking at the playbook. And I'm going to get into the actual practice and show you the ins and outs. It's all motion. It's all RPO. I know it doesn't say RPO, but guys, these are RPO plays. Um, well, it does say RPO. I'll take that back. Uh, Z motion alert split. Okay. Your right side back. He's faking over to block the backside. Play, your backside back running back. He's coming across to uh, run the zone. And then your, your receiver in the back, he's going in motion. All three of those concepts are exactly the same. Um, the only difference is really what the backs are doing the receiver is going to be doing the same thing and then you also have a play action seam off of this and then you have the alert swing counter kick where now your your backside back or your your right running back is going to come across and he's going to be blocking more for the rpo to pass out into the flats okay um the best way i can show you this guys is to uh is to randomize it okay so let's go ahead and get into this and then i'll show you the other plays and i'm just going to give the defense a random play right here so you can see the this is the play action pass right here and i'm trying to look at this on my OBS screen it's kind of small so play action pass right there and i might throw interception if not that's fine 
I could have threw the check down, but I just want you to see the play itself. Now, I like this formation, guys, because it, it, it stacks everybody inside. Does that make sense? If you're looking here in the middle, everybody is stacked inside. It loads the box. It forces the defense to load the box. And if you look to my left over here where Square is at, that is what you want to see ideally. You want to see the cornerback playing about 10, 8 to 10 yards off the football. Now, with this motion... Ideally, this this the receiver behind me, number 11, he's going to be open. Now, this particular formation, I like to run it if I'm on the hashes. Does that make sense? Uh, because I have more room to work with. Does that make sense? So let's run it here. You see the play action here and you just hit them in the flats. And I mean, you gain about five to 10 yards a pop on this play. Um let me see if I can respot the ball. Let's put the ball on the hash. Let's put it on the left hash. All right. And let's run this same concept again, going to the right side of the field. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. OK, so we're going to we're going to audible that. See how much field you have to work with. Now that receiver's a lot wider motion. They go with the motion and you just throw it out into the flats. I got two lead blockers right there. You see what I mean by having a fast guy out there to make a play right here. And, and then, yeah, you can run it to the boundary. I don't really like to because you run the risk of that, like the receiver running out of bounds. But that's your ZY motion. All those plays are exactly the same like that. Now, this is the one where he lead blocks. Your, your number 23 is going to go out there and lead block. Square is going to go out wide. See, that is the ideal formation that we want to see that against. And we just toss it out there in the flats to him and let him work, man. Speed kills in that, man. You're going to knick-knack the guys down the field with this formation. So now I want to um, look at another one of my favorite formations in this is the wing stack week. And it's 12 plays in this, guys, but we're going to utilize a few. So my favorite one out of this is the RPO series. You have your RPO alert bubble, your RPO read slant bubble, and your um, you have a RPO alert bubble there. The run part is different. That's going to be a zone run on that one. This is going to be, uh, it looks like a uh, sweep kind of deal, a GT. Well, it ain't GT because the tackle isn't pulling. Just the tackles pulling on that run concept. Um, your halfback slip screen is going to be good on this. RPO read counter is going to be good out of this. Now you're running a counter out of it. Uh, you have your read bubble and then uh, your RPO peak slant. I'm looking at triangle right here. This is really important. If you, I, My advice is if you're going to use this playbook is to set these up as your audibles because the defense in this game adjusts to what you do. So if you're going to go up tempo, you're going to go no huddle, you're going to go turbo and you want to run these plays over and over and over in succession, guys, not only do you have the run option out of this, but a simple audible, you're not going to change your formation. So the defense defense isn't going to switch or adjust. And then say if um, RPO read bubble is working so much, and they're paying attention to that number one receiver or that number two receiver who's going out there blocking. Now, instead of him going out there to block, he runs out into the flats and your number one receiver runs a slant route. Does that make sense? So let's do a random play with this and I'm probably going to have to move the ball. Yeah, let's respot the ball to the middle of the field. Because this is another formation, because the receivers are so tight, you can run this from the middle of the field, or you can even run this to the field. I like to run it more to the field. So this isn't an RPO right here. This is just your standard play right there. Uh, we'll just get him the ball, let him get upfield a little bit. All right. Uh, now this is just your standard handoff right here. Just give it to the running back and watch him do his thing. Chopping off on them boys, because Texas is Texas. A&M is garbage. Let's go. Nah, I'm playing. a and not garbage. All right, same play right here. Just going to hand it off to the running back. Tackle in the backfield. We're probably about a one-yard gain on the play. Trying to see if we can get that option play. Okay, this is the screen play, and I really like the halfback screens on here because they give the halfback time to the, – the blockers are good on, on the screens. That's what I like about it. If you can get the ball off. All right, let's see if we can audible. Uh, okay, let's go R1, RPO, slant, bubble. 
Okay, so now he's running a slant concept, but what I really want to look for is that bubble. So you see how that corner's playing down. Also, this safety or backer he's playing down. It's actually the backside corner. He's playing down, so they're probably in man coverage. Um, you really can't. You could check and see if they're in man. Looks like they're more in the zone or something like that. We'll widen them out. This is always a good thing to do. If they go with him, that's good because now it opens up that slant across the middle. So he settles right there, and we just throw it to the flats right there, guys. That play is butter. So let's look at that in instant replay. That way I can kind of break it down as to what I'm looking at here. All right, so I motioned out the tight end, and what that did is that, that took these guys out. And what it opens up, potentially, is the slant. So right there, that slant would not have been open, okay? Let me get off of here. You you possibly could have thrown the slant because that linebacker is flowing away. It was definitely open, but guys, this is the primary target right here, the bubble. And because of that, look at that. That's wide open. Give him the ball and look at all that space you have to work with. You get what I'm saying? That's why that play is magic in a bottle, okay? So now this is the other one. This is the um where now instead of him blocking, he's going to run that he's going to run that 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 out route or, you know, and then uh, you still got a post. I mean, you still have a, it's a skinny post. So it's really a slant by the square, by, by a square, okay? And it's still an RPO. Me personally, with this particular formation, I'm looking to throw it into the flats. But let's motion out this tight end again and see if they widen out with him. They don't. So we, we can move him back. That's not going to affect anything. You can even put him in motion to the other side. And see, I gave it right there. I gave it right there, but I want you to see that triangle was open. I don't know why this game does this sometimes. It's like you press buttons and it doesn't register. See, right here, I was pushing triangle because he's open already. I already saw that he was open, but they didn't throw him the football. But needless to say, uh, the run still got positive yards. But you can see over here, this is the concept here. They're playing off like this. If they're playing off, man, that is golden. That's what you want to see. That's wide open. Hit it right now. Let him get the ball in one-on-one, -on -one, okay? All right, we're going to go. Let's go to RPO. Let's, let's run that RPO again. Okay, different concept. This is the slant concept now. Safety came out there on them. One-on-one, -on -one, give your guy a chance. You know what I'm saying? Same same play right here. We're just going to give it this time. I'm trying to see if they will pull up some more of the RPOs, and they keep bringing up the same plays. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm sorry about that, y'all. ain't nothing I can do about that except for picking the play myself. Okay, this is the regular bubble where he's going to block. Now, you see the corner is pressing right here. That doesn't mean they can disguise their coverage. Right there, probably didn't want to throw that one because if that safety's coming downhill, that is going to be, he's probably not going to get any yards off of that play, if that makes sense. So just get him in space and watch him work. So that, that is a huge uh, formation that I like to use with them. Another, um, let me see if there's another concept. You got wing X off. You got Deuce. Deuce close is good if you want to just run the ball. Uh, you got your play actions. Not a lot of RPOs in this one, if any. Um, you trips off. Same thing. You got your RPO concept. The trips concept. I like you trips off because they're a little bit tighter on this. Um, let's just do a random play out of that because the RPOs are really good out of this as well. Here you just have your, your go routes or whatever like that. It's nothing nothing uh to write home about with this particular play right here truck stick we're gonna get some yardage right there because it's texas all right they're running the same concept nothing wrong with that play action uh pump fakes work really well in this game too I'm trying to see if we can get an rpo concept they're not giving it to us we're just gonna run inside zone right here check the play run inside zone be patient in the zone plays because your line is going to is they're going to open up stuff for you. You just have to be patient with it. Shoot, don't try to bounce everything to the outside. Get get what you can get. And they're not running no RPOs. I'm going to have to call one myself. <laughs> I'm going to have to call one myself. Nah, that's out of bounds. All right, we got an RPO concept right here. 
Twins, two receivers against two. They're backed off. So that's good. Now, if if this inside guy comes down, do not throw it. You will throw an interception 95% of the time. He didn't come down. We can get it to him. He's going to be in space. One-on-one, -on -one, just try to make a move. Get what you can get. Now, when you up-tempo with this, that's when it starts to get really fun because now they're going to um, – the defense isn't going to be set. They're going to be out of position and things like that. Another play right here, the safety's dropping back. See how he comes down like that? That's a pick every time. He just didn't get it right there. The safety's rolling back. That's a bad, bad sign right there. Let's go play action here. Let's see what we can do out of play action with this playbook. Wide open right there, man. Just awesome, awesome, awesome. Did he, he got in. He flipped in there. Good job. All right, so this is another RPO concept where your tight end is going to go out and block. Now your screen guy, your RPO guy, is your uh, is the square. And once again, you got to pay attention to that corner. If he comes downhill, do not throw that RPO. But if he drops back, throw it. Motion. He he stayed put. We want to throw that. We want to throw that every time. Now you got to make a good pass because if you don't, it's going to delay like that and you're going to get sacked or, or you're not going to get a, you know, a gain on the play if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I keep saying does that make sense? I'm sorry, y'all. I just like to make sure that people understand everything that's going on. So that's you, you off uh, trips week. You have your doubles formation here. You have some RPOs in this as well. Your play action schemes seams and stuff like that I, I i mean it is now this one is a good one um doubles offset week because here you have your rpo orbit bubble now you do have a, you should have in this formation um okay now this isn't like the 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 um the run play with the receiver but this is a good formation also because your RPO rebubble, this receiver is going to go in motion and he's going to be your RPO guy. Does that make sense? So let's let's check out this formation as well. Um, hopefully we can get this play to come up and I can show it to you because it is a great play because you have lead blockers. Let's see if we can. Nope. RPO. There it goes. RPO read bubble. We can we can audible to that. So. Look how far off. Oh, you always want to pay attention to how far off the defense is playing. They could be disguising their coverage. And, you know, that that's still necessary to read. But that's what you're reading is that left side of the field over there. He goes in motion. They drop back. Hey, I want to throw it. I got two blockers out there. I'm going to get my guy in space. We're going to try to make a play on that. Does that make sense? So let's, let's run that again because uh, defense is in a different formation. You got two high safeties and the corners are down. Secondary seems to be pressing. Now they could drop back. Now they're in man coverage. They stayed put. If they stay put, do not throw that. You will not get anything out of it. If they drop back, then you want to throw it. Let's same thing again. See, they're back. You got one high safety look. Are they in man coverage? Nope, they're not in man, so they are running a zone. If they're running a zone, a lot of times this play is going to be hugely open. The weakness. OK, you might say, well, dang, this RPO stuff seems a bit um, a bit overpowered. It may seem a bit overpowered, but it's really not. The way that you want to stop RPO, guys, is with man coverage. But, you know, there's a draw against that. So now you see the outside receiver is pressing right here. He's pressing the corner is pressing the wide receiver here. So this may not be open. This is a play action play. This is not an RPO, but that route concept is still there. And you see triangle was open in the flats. I just panicked and threw the ball away. And then your go concept. So let me see, because there are some more uh, plays that we want to take a look at. You have your RPO alert motion. These are really good plays to run. Uh, the receiver is going to go in motion and it just throws off the defense. This is a really good formation. Normal flex close. This this is all this formation is full of. It's just it's six plays. They all play off of each other, but they're very awesome plays to run. I like to run this motion concept from the field to the field, but you can run it from the middle of the field as well because when the receiver goes in motion, he's going to be the inside guy. Now, notice how that corner is pressing, so this may not be open if he goes with him. It may be in man coverage play action right there. See how he settles on that? I don't want to force that, man. Just get the ball Maybe get a yard, maybe get two yards. Don't try to force this stuff. Now the corner's playing off. 
So this is going to be an easy play right here to throw it to number 11 out here on this RPO concept right there. See that? How he plays off like that? Now I just run to the sideline and get some yards. These plays are really good when you're trying to knick-knack the ball down the field or if you're trying to get a quick hit to get the ball out of bounds and stuff like that. See the defense is adjusting to the motion. And the safety comes down on that, but he's so far from the ball, that's not a threat. Now, we didn't get anything out of that, but, you know, it still works. It's still a good concept. Motion here. And didn't get enough air on that right there, but that's fine. All right, motion concept. He's backed off. This should be a, a deliverable ball to the right receiver. Yep, and I got a lead blocker here as well. Make a move, get some positive yards. So you kind of see that concept there. What I was trying to find was the wide receiver. Um, let me see. Let's go to player. Um, Isaiah Bond. Okay, this play, the touch pass plays, that is out of Gun Wings X off. Uh, let me see if there's another one. These touch plays are crazy good, especially with your best receiver. So Gun Wings X off. I'm just going to show this particular play, and we'll get let the defense line up in whatever they want. Guys, these wide receiver touch plays, first of all, they're amazing because you it, it counts as a pass play. So if you're trying to, you know, air the ball out and spread things around, this counts as a pass play. But dude, if you can get blocking on the edge, these plays are amazing. Now, you want to be patient because you may have a cut up. You may be able to cut the ball up right there or you may have to extend it out and, and keep running. It just depends on what the defense gives you right here. See how they blocking right there. Now I can just turn on the Jets and gain a lot of yards from the Alabama transfer, Isaiah Bond. He is a monster in this game. Same play right here. See, I'm a little bit patient, probably a little bit too patient. I should have kept that one to the outside. Look for the cut up, guys. Don't immediately just always look to run to the outside right here because it's not always there. See right there? I try to force it to the outside. Don't be so quick to get onto the speed button. Same thing as the zone plays. I want to wait, get off of the speed button till I see the hole and then I can go get on the speed button. See, they're rolling down the corners or they're rolling down the backside safety. See how that opens up right there and I just hit that little crease. You get 10, 12 yards, you might get two or three yards. But if you incorporate these plays into your playbook, you're going to break one. I promise you eventually you're going to break one. And then whenever you're going in motion as well, they're going to play on that. So now you have that same formation. You have jet inside zone. You could run that same concept off of it. This time, we're going to give it into the running back. We're faking that. And then, boom, we hit him for a big gain. Does that make sense? Oh, and then we fumble the football. All right, so that is Texas's playbook in a nutshell, man. You you do have your full house backfield. I hardly ever use this. Uh, pistol is always really good. I've shown you the plays out of that that I really like to run. Um, your 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 pass jet. These are the motion plays right here. Uh, pass jet fake zone. That's the same concept right there. I don't think I showed y'all that play. So let's show you that one. Any of these fake jet zone plays are great to run in your playbook because look at the yardage that you can gain off of it if your offensive line blocks for you see you got the guy walking down right there it's a good chance he's gonna blitz and blow this play up and he does actually he does it the other guy did so you know take that with a grain of salt man you know i, I you see me running the plays or whatever like that i'm trying to cut it up i don't like to just run to the sideline every time sometimes it's open sometimes it's not see right there it's open and i just go man you just got to try it and see what works for you. But all in all, it is a great playbook. Um, if you're looking for something simple to use, then Texas's playbook is a really good playbook to use. I should have threw that to square, but we give him a chance. Touchdown, baby. What a way to end practice. So let me know what y'all think about the playbook down in the comment section down below. And what playbook do you want to cover next in the game? Guys, that's all I got for right now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.